Hi, Jasmine. Leanne took care. I'm going to do your tag from June 6th. And I'm sorry I missed one. I have to go back and do it. I look terrible. I've been outside all day in the garden. i am got dirt all over the... <laughs> well, you know. Um, anyway, that's how it goes when you garden. Anyway, okay, question one. What was your favorite TV show as a child? And I had several of them. I liked all the Saturday cartoons. I liked Bewitched. I liked Jeopardy. I used to watch Jeopardy with my grandfather sometimes, whenever we were in Memphis, because he watched it every day, and he didn't mind if all his grandchildren watched it with him. You know, we weren't allowed to speak, but um, anyway, it was fun. Jeopardy, um, The Price is Right. I liked game shows and comedies. Uh, Andy Griffith. Yeah, Mayberry. I love that show. Um, anyway, let's go on to number two. What is your recipe for being happy? Or your recipe for happiness? Now, I have a funny story. Can I tell it? I'm from the South, okay? And when people... A lot of people assume that Southerners are stupid because they say things that people don't say in the other English-speaking part of uh, America, you know. Anyway, but this isn't true. The language that Southerners use is closer to... English in England, they brought all the old sayings with them and they still use them today. Now, when I was learning to spell, I lived in the South and I learned that there are two ways to spell recipe. The way you spelled it, R E C I P E, and receipt, R E. C E I T. But if you were talking to someone, you always pronounced it recipe, even if you spelled it receipt. And now, Jasmine, here you are, you live in England, you're an English person, and you spell it res recipe, but you pronounce it receipt. And I think that is just so interesting because I couldn't understand for the life of me, being a little eight-year-old, why it would be spelled receipt but pronounced recipe. And here we have it the other way around. You spelled it recipe but said receipt. Now I know. And um, so anyway, my recipe for happiness is boring the shit out of everybody. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, that is one thing I like to do, but, um, I just find things that make me happy, like gardening, or art, or hanging with the fam, studying, doing research. I would be in school every day if I could. Okay. Number three, have you ever purchased a voodoo doll? Or, I actually made one one time when I was a kid. My friend and I were really, my best friend, we were really into this stuff. And we did some crazy things, but I made a voodoo doll. And I didn't know any of the curses or anything, but I, and I, I cursed it, and I stuck the pins in, and I don't know if it worked or what, because I was a little child, and I don't remember, but I remember making it. 
Number four, name something you had as a child and wish you still have that it's worth money now. Well, my Barbies, I guess. Um, one of our family friends started collecting Barbies when we brought our Barbie dolls with us for a visit. She loves Barbie. And and I talked to her a few years ago, and she said, after many, many years of not speaking to her, because she was sick and I didn't know where she lived, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She said she got so serious about Barbie that she went to fashion conventions. I mean, where you... They display Barbie's clothes and look at the new, it's, it's like, she said it's like a a fashion show. You know, one of the big deal, like a Gucci fashion show or something. And she got really sick and it was, it is a chronic illness. And she says whenever she doesn't feel well, she takes out her Barbie's and plays with them. And she said, "You girl, you wouldn't believe how many Barbies I have. You cannot see the inside of my house for all the cabinets full of Barbies, she told me. I'll always remember her for her Barbies. Mm -hmm. Last question. Do you have a daily journal diary? Not at the moment. I have had... Um, I tend to not have one more than have one because I, I have a pretty good memory and uh, now, you know, we just put everything to remember online. This is fantastic. I love that. Yeah. Anyway, there you go and I will look for your vlog your um tag from last week and get that done sometime real soon i promise i promise okay bye bye everybody bye mark you're not a nitwit